Hoi friends, today we'll be adding the last menu for our game, which is the pause menu. A bit of a shameless plug here, starting tomorrow on my Patreon, the tier 1 uh, people, patrons, will get a free asset a month. I think the first one will be some low poly swords. And the tier 2 uh, patrons will get free assets twice a month. So if you're looking for some very cheap but still good assets that you can use for your games or any kind of 3D projects really, go check it out, you might like it. And also the additional game dev skill that you get is quite nice too. Back to the video. Adding a pause menu is quite nice and easy. Of course we'll be adding it in our sample scene which is, you know, our gameplay scene. So let me just open that. We'll pretty much be copying the end screen but we'll be pausing the game and because you'll pretty much have all the same options so you'll be able to restart, go to main menu or just quit game. Let's duplicate our end canvas then, so select it, control D and let's rename it to pause canvas. And I'll just move it up here just so we have it maybe there. The background color or the alpha I'll set to zero so it's you know so you can see it let me just quickly disable the end canvas so we can see how that looks and on the title I'll just write paused and maybe actually for the background let's change the color to a dark gray and increase the alpha so it looks like you paused just so you have some visual you know feedback that you paused the game you can change the color to anything I'll just go for a dark gray and that's pretty much all we have to do. The, uh, the buttons will automatically be set up because they're already set up in the end screen. We just have to implement the time stop and enabling the actual menu. And we'll do that from our uh, UI manager right here. So let's open that up. Of course, first we have to enable the actual UI. So I'll just create a new variable up here. I'll just control D this one. And this one will be pause canvas. And let's just take it and place it in the middle here, just much cleaner, nicer, makes more sense. Because this is the end canvas, has to go last. Now we've been setting active HUD this way, so what we can do in here is just say pause canvas dot set active, uh, negative of state or opposite of state, like that. So now whenever we uh, initiate the game and set active HUD, it's also going to disable the uh, pause canvas right here. So I'll create a different function, public void set active pause and we'll have a bool state again. And in here we'll go pause, pause canvas dot set active to true or sorry state and then these two uh, we can just copy from there. Oh my bad. Just like that and this one will be HUD canvas. So we'll disable these Although we don't have to disable the end canvas. And we'll also have to do the time change. So we'll go time, the time scale is equal to zero. But we need to also check if we're setting this to true or false. Because if we set this to false and we don't return the time scale to one, then the game's not going to play. We can actually, instead of just zero, saying zero here, we can say state true. So if it's true, we can say zero and one just like this so basically time scale will be set equal to zero or one depending on what the state is so if the state is true it gets set to zero and if it's false it gets set to one basically the same as saying if time that time scale or sorry if state is true then time that time scale is equal to zero else uh, time dot time scale is equal to one and I just forgot to say scale so these two are the same this one's just a lot a lot nicer and actually my bad uh, we shouldn't be setting end canvas to uh, the opposite of state because when we do uh, re-enable the active pause thingy then we don't want to set the end canvas to true so we'll just remove it from there and also we have to call this in the update method, so we'll go private void update. We'll go if input dot get key down, key code dot p, let's say. So if we do get this, 
then we'll just say set active pause to true and we also need a boolean to track if it's already enabled or not so I'll just create a real quick boolean up here uh, private bool you can expose it but you don't have to is paused by default it'll be set to false and then here uh, in our set active pause we'll just set uh, is paused equal to uh, state so here we can check if input get key down key code p and is paused is false so if we're not paused then we pause um, and then we'll say else if input dot key get key down key code dot p and is paused is true so if you're already paused and we press p then we set active uh, pause to oh my bad set active pause to false should be pretty simple to understand. If you press P and we're not paused, then we pause. And if you press P and we are paused, then we unpause. That was a lot of pauses there. Let's see if that works. So in our UI manager, we have to give it the pause canvas, which is this one. And let's see if that works. Click play. If I press P, you can see it turns on this menu, but you can't really quick click anything. Um, because we did not enable our cursor but if you press P again it unpauses so that works good you can see he's coming towards me P he stops and he continues this way so let's quickly enable our cursor we can do that from our main camera controller we have our lock and unlock cursor functions in our camera controller so we should probably get that in our UI manager so I'll just create a new private uh, UI or sorry a camera controller and I'll call it cam controller is equal to null and we want to get a get references function in here and just create that or implement it down here private void get references and in here cam controller is equal to get component in children and we want to get the camera controller from there because this is on our player and we're getting it from the main camera which is a child of the uh, player of the player game object. Once we have that, we can use it in set active pause. And we could use the Unity's, you know, cursor.lock state, but since we already implemented the uh, unlock and lock cursor functions, we're just gonna do it this way. So if state is true, so if we're, if we're pausing the game, then we wanna go and say cam controller dot uh, unlock and for some reason they're private, so we'll just set them to public. The functions in in the camera controller. We can say control cam controller dot unlock cursor. Uh, else, just cam controller dot lock cursor. Let's see if that works. So now if you press P, you can see we have our cursor. If we press P again, we don't have it anymore. So it works quite nicely. But there's one thing I'm worried about, and let's just see if that's true. I need to die first. Oh yeah, whenever we die, paused is set to true. And also, if we press B, you can see it works after we die, which is not something we want. So let's first fix it so it doesn't show up at first. That's because we're here whenever we're setting active HUD, pause canvas to false. That's happening. And whenever we die, we're actually using set active HUD as well. I just quite poorly fix this. I'll just get the stats reference from our player stats here, player stats, stats, that's equal to null. And then in get references, I can just say stats is equal, whoa, not that one. Stats is equal to get component, player stats. And then we're just gonna check up here so before we set the set this active to the state, we're just gonna say if uh, stats dot is dead is false. If is that is true, then obviously we're not gonna set this just like that. Let me just do that real quickly. And we also don't wanna be able to activate pause whenever we 
are dead. So in our update function here, I'm just gonna wrap all of this inside of stats dot is dead. Uh, and we're gonna set that to false, just like that. And just put all of that inside. So now if we're dead, uh, we're not gonna be able to run this code. Okay, that should be all of the problems, I hope. And you can see now I can, well, this worked before, but let me just, you know. Come on, kill me. And now it doesn't get set. And if you press P, it doesn't work as well. So that's good. That's it for the pause menu. Uh, the options menu on our main menu, we're not going to do yet. First, I want to implement sounds. And then we're going to maybe add like a slider for the main sound or the master sound or something like that. But that's in the future. Hopefully this helped you. And if it did, I don't know, leave a like or something like that. Okay, now, bye-bye.